what's going on everybody it's no one here again glad to be back um, today I am playing a game called does not commute by uh, mediocre games uh, this one depending when you're watching it is releasing tonight so releasing worldwide on the 24th um, free to play has a uh, one in-app purchase to make it premium for $1.99 uh, I had a chance to play it for a little bit and fell in love with it. Uh, I'll get to the game real quick. It It's a line drawing game, I guess, all in all. Uh, but what's cool about it is the storytelling. I mean, for one, I love the 70s theme. But, um, yeah, it, every car here where the arrow's pointing, um, you know, it... it want you to get from point A to point B pretty much like I said like a line drawing game so you'll use your the left and right side of the screen to drive the person then mission 2 will pop up and here's another part of the story Postal and Betty and same thing but <clears throat> your last driver, the last guy that was just there, he's still going to be going. So let's see if he, we pass him here. See, you don't want to hit him. And so on and so forth. Like, Miss Mayfield here is late for to the office, so we've got to get her to the same point pretty much here and nail person Betty's there and I'm starting to wreck as you can kind of see the the flow of the game right now So depending on how you drive, kind of <clears throat> alters everything. I, I really love the, the, the storytelling in this. I mean, <clears throat> I can really kind of picture everybody driving in their little vehicles and I mean they did a great job with this You know, it'll start getting a little crazier the farther you go, like, the farther you get into the, I don't know, the story, I guess, itself. And you can pick up uh, little time extenders throughout the the little land there. You can see a bunch of tens everywhere because uh, you want to get through the 13 different stories before time runs out. And I imagine the farther you go, the tougher it'll be. Every car handles a little different. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, every car handles a little different. Every truck handles a little different. And like I said, the story uh, is cool. And you kind of want to know, like this guy here, Mr. Lee. Uh, Mr. Lee's long gone. But who's this man that looks and talks like Mr. Lee? I don't know, but I want to know. 
that's just going to keep me playing this game. so intrigued about Mr. Lee right now. Oh, also the Mrs. Clemens with the ghost for husband. They said the storytelling in this is really good. As you can see, full weather effects. Um, oh no. Not in the water, not in the water. Um, what am I doing? Um, when you wreck your vehicle, it slows down, which hurts the timer. But see, I just passed the first 13, um, I, I just want to keep calling them stories. And then, I'm not sure if this is one very long story. The entire game is one story. Uh, if it is, that's really cool. But everything kind of molds together. Um, they could have made this, I, I guess, just a typical line drawing, driving game. <clears throat> but, like I said, the story is kind of what sucks you in. I mean, the, the gameplay itself, too, is, is good. I mean, very easy controls. Like I said, tap left, tap right. Uh, the farther you go, you can earn different um, abilities. Like, you can see the turbo button up in the top left corner there. No! 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 See now, see how slow Mr. Andrew's going on his moped because he's crashed it. Now that's going to screw me a little later on because of him driving like a maniac early on in the, the store. No, Mr. Andrew. No! See? See how it can just alter the entire story? Now, you can rewind. There is a rewind time function. Oh, no. This is mysterious. This car doesn't have a driver. I haven't gotten this far. This is really cool. Mr. Andrew causing ruckus down there. No! No! See, now, get him constant. Oh my god. Oh my god. This guy's wanting his suit. Yeah, I am not gonna. I only got 17 seconds left, and I'm only on the sixth uh, story here. Charles Snyder skipped lunch and went to the library instead. Mr. Andrews. Oh my god. Such a mess. Such a mess. Short. Oh, come on. <laughs> my, my little world here uh, is just chaos right now. And you can actually, I'll, I'll do it here in a second because I don't think I am going to make it here. Oh, Mr. Andrews. See, now, like I said, you can upgrade different, or there's different upgrades you can unlock. Oh, Dr. Trevino is pantsless. God, it car's fast. See, this is what happened. No. 
Okay, I suck. Anyways, like, watch. The first story, you can... It went really smooth. And you can... Watch your video. And kind of see different views. And kind of watch the story as it unfolds. Um, which, it, it, it gets really funny when you're kind of watching the story. And you've got all that chaos going. But... Yeah, this is, like I said, this is really cool. I, for me, I love the 70s vibe. I love the, the, the storytelling in it. It just makes the game. Um, as far as uh, options, you pretty much just have your music, sound effects, volume. Um, that's about it. Uh, it supports Game Center. It supports... Um, flip screen orientation it requires iOS 6 or later and it's optimized for everything iPhone 5 6 6 plus <clears throat> like I said this was by uh, mediocre um, I did a little research on the developer and uh, they 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 have some decent games under their belt they have uh, granny Smith which was a good one the sprinkle series with um, what was it sprinkle junior sprinkle itself and then uh, I think their last one was called sprinkle islands and then their biggest hit was um, Smash Hit. And it, I had read that that, uh, that one sold, or not sold, but had over 100 million downloads. I mean, that's just huge. So, I mean, I'd like to see this one do just as well. But yeah, it's a, the company was founded by just two guys, and they don't even really play video games, I guess. They just like creating them. But the one thing I thought was not weird, I thought it was interesting. Um, they only make non-violent video games because uh, they said they want everybody to enjoy their games. And um, I read on their Facebook, it said that um, they deeply believe that violence is not a necessary component of fun. I thought that was kind of cool. I mean, granted, I, I like my violent video games as much as the next person, but yeah, I thought that was kind of cool. Um, download size is uh, 55 megabytes, 65.6 installed rated four and up um definitely check this one out when it's released on the 24th um with the premium edition uh for two bucks you get uh, continues or checkpoints so definitely this is on my recommended list um it, it's looks like it's got a, a a ton of uh content as far as story telling to it um as always Thanks for watching. Thanks for uh, supporting me. Um, make sure to subscribe and um, feel free to leave any questions or comments or requests. Thanks again.